Hi, did you know there are a number of ways in which you can benefit from home energy storage or home batteries? In this video, we will discuss all of them. So stay tuned to see how home battery can profit you the most. We will briefly look at the prices of some of the popular batteries in the market. And lastly, we'll tell you about an option that is low cost, not well known, but is extremely beneficial. On this channel, Synergy Files, we aim to inspire people towards engineering and technology for a better, more sustainable world. So subscribe today to remain updated with all our latest videos. Now, there are at least five ways the batteries can benefit you. So let's look at them one by one. Number one is maximizing your solar or wind installation output. Say you have a solar installation on your roof. It turns out that you are generating most electricity during part of the day when you are not at home. If you have a grid tight system, that extra electricity would go to feed the grid because the generated electricity is not being utilized. When you come home in the later half of the day, solar isn't producing anything and you have to buy electricity from the grid. Now that doesn't make sense does it? Even if you sell electricity to the grid, chances are that you'll be buying back at a higher price. So the best option is to utilize energy that you have generated to fulfill your own needs first before you export it. A battery allows you to do exactly that. Benefit number two is buying electricity from the grid when it's cheap. Through home battery systems, one can buy maximum units of electricity from the grid when they're low in price. For example, in the UK, off-peak energy can be purchased for as low as 8 pence, whereas energy during the peak times is as high as 22 pence per kilowatt hour. This is if you're on an electricity tariff plan like Economy 10 or Economy 7. Why do we have cheaper tariffs? Is because some power plants, especially coal and nuclear, cannot be completely shut down, and they keep producing electricity in the late hours of the night when the demand is extremely low. Utility companies incentivize the use of this off-peak electricity by offering much cheaper tariffs on it during those times. Through home battery, one can buy cheap electricity and even sell it back to the grid during peak times. Of course, you will have to ask the local utility company to ensure that this practice is applicable as rules are different in different parts of the world. Also make sure that the battery pack provides this functionality in its software. Benefit number three is monitoring energy usage. New home battery systems come with great tools that allow you to monitor what you're currently consuming, what you're currently generating, how much of the electricity is going to your home or your car, and how much you're using from the grid. The availability of this information alone on your phone 24-7 can help you optimize your energy usage. You can cut down drastically the consumption of electricity just by being aware and by taking simple steps. For example, you can reduce the usage of appliances that cause a spike in your energy chart, like only boil enough water that you need, or you charge your electric car when it's more feasible to do so, and also select the best source for it, that is grid or battery. Benefit number four is that batteries help the grid, which in turn helps you. The future of electricity will be based on a smart grid for which the presence of home energy storage is very important. When you plug your home battery, you are in a way helping the grid to increase the electricity buffer. As you might be aware, for the national grid, power plants try to generate energy as it is needed. This keeps the grid frequency of electricity in check and also reduces the wastage. However, it poses another problem because sometimes it's difficult to keep up with instantaneous demands that are out of the normal pattern. Batteries in this case can help the power generation sector by providing electricity when the grid needs it. They take the edge off the sudden increases in demand. In fact, even electric car battery packs can be used for this purpose. The vehicle to grid systems or V2G as it's called is already in place in at least four countries. The charger of vehicles used for V2G are two-way chargers. As we know that automobiles spend 95% of their time being parked. 
This idle time can now benefit the grid. It's a revolutionary idea that will make our grid system much more efficient. Furthermore, we tend to switch off our large wind farms when they're producing too much. A grid that is connected to thousands of battery packs can allow that energy to be stored. Benefit number five is backup power. Last but not the least, batteries can provide you power in case of grid failure. This may not be a huge advantage for those living in urban areas, but it can be a lifeline for people who live in remote corners of the globe. Grid failures are frequent in such areas. A great example of this is Isle of Egg in Scotland, which was one of the first islands to go for 100% renewable energy. They now have two whole days of backup power thanks to the battery systems becoming affordable and robust over time. So those are the five ways in which home energy system can benefit you. It has to be mentioned that if you own an electric car then the gains of the home battery are even more pronounced as your consumption of electricity is much higher. Now if you look at some of the top of the line lithium ion battery packs in the market, we come across the Tesla Powerwall 2, the LG Chem 6.4, the Solex Hybrid X1 and the Powerwall 3. The Tesla power wall is a cut above the rest when it comes to value. Not only it has the lowest price per kilowatt hour, but there's also a warranty period of 10 years. The upfront cost, however, is very high. This apparently makes a compelling case for deep cycle lead acid batteries for their low upfront cost as they are at least four times lower in price per kilowatt hour. But do remember they only have a fifth of the life and their round trip efficiency is also poor. So if you put 1 kilowatt hour in lead acid battery, you get back approximately 0.8 kilowatt hours. Whereas with lithium ion, you get around 0.95 kilowatt hours back. The only thing that undercuts Tesla in price are Chinese companies. Their lithium ion battery bags are, believe it or not, less than half the price per kilowatt hour when compared to Tesla Powerwall. The functionality, however, of these Chinese batteries is limited and also the warranty period is short. Finally, as promised, I want to tell you something exciting that has only recently arrived in the energy market. It is the thermal battery. The idea here is instead of storing electricity, we store heat and use it when we need heating. How can this be a game changer? Well, in cold climate areas, more than 50% of our energy use goes into space and water heating. So say you have excess energy from solar panels that has nowhere to go. Well, now you can store that energy as heat. The system is even more efficient if we charge the thermal battery through solar water heater. The thermal battery merits a more detailed video that we will bring for you shortly. So watch this space. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from the video, you know the drill. Please do hit the like button. Help spread awareness by sharing this video. Thank you for your attention.